Welcome to Review Central. This is DOST reviewer number two, featuring questions on nonverbal reasoning. This reviewer is intended for those who are eyeing, or are set to take, the DOST scholarship qualifying exam. There are 10 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous DOST qualifying exams. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Now let's begin. Nonverbal reasoning number one. Which of the following frames completes the pattern? The correct answer is D. Each diagram can be seen as a series of triangles above and below a horizontal axis. At each step, the right-hand triangle relocates to the beginning of the sequence causing a shift to the right. Nonverbal reasoning number 2. Which is the next figure in the series? The correct answer is D. This is a bit complicated to explain, so please pay careful attention. Pause and rewind if you feel necessary. First, we divide the given figure into top frames. In bottom frames. For the top frames, left to right, the circle turns from shaded, to not shaded, and back to shaded. Position-wise, it goes from top to opposite position, that is, bottom, and back to top. Clear? The square turns from none in the first frame, to a shaded on the right, to not shaded on the left. For the bottom frames, left to right, the square should mimic the movement and transformation of the circle in the top frames, that is, it should switch from non-shaded, to shaded, and back to not shaded. Position-wise, it should go from left, to right, and should be back to the left. This effectively eliminates A and B. The circle should also mimic the movement and transformation of the square in the top frames. That is, it should go from none on the first frame, to a not shaded on top in the second frame, and should be shaded in at the bottom in the last frame. Nonverbal reasoning number 3. Which of the following is identical to the given figure? The correct answer is C. Rotating the figure in answer choice C by 90 degrees counterclockwise will immediately make it identical to our given figure. None of the other answer choices is identical with the given figure no matter how we rotate them. Nonverbal reasoning number 4. Which of the following is the original cube rotated in any direction? The correct answer is D. Step 1. Let's rotate our given cube clockwise once. The diamond is now to the right, the circle at the bottom, and the rectangle is still in front, but now oriented vertically and touching the top edge. Step 2. Let's rotate the cube again once from front to back. The rectangle is now on top touching the rear edge, the diamond remains to the right, and the circle moves from bottom to the front. This is exactly the cube and answer choice D. Nonverbal reasoning number 5. Two pieces of the cube puzzle with three adjacent faces and each piece are shown and to be used to form a cube. Each face is drawn with a figure different to the other sides. 
which view fits the arrangement of the symbols when the cube is assembled. The correct answer is A. Here's the arrangement of the cube in a flat surface, when the two pieces of cube puzzle are combined. Now let's try to form the cube by folding at the edges of the adjoining faces, as marked by the broken lines. With the face with X marked at the bottom, let's fold all its four adjoining faces upwards. We then complete the cube by folding the face with the shaded circle to be on top of the cube. With the resulting cube. The cube view and answer choice B is not possible, since the faces with X mark and shaded circle cannot be adjacent to each other, recall that the X mark is at the bottom and the shaded circle is on top. Answer choice C is also not possible, since the plus mark and the square mark cannot be adjacent as they are opposite each other. Answer choice D is also not a possible cube view. Same as with B, the X mark and the shaded circle cannot be adjacent to each other. Only the cube view and answer choice A is possible. Nonverbal reasoning number 6. Which box contains the same shape as the given series? The correct answer is D. When the given images are spatially rotated, they are all mirror images of the image in answer choice D. The same cannot be said of the images in answer choices A, B, and C. Nonverbal reasoning number 7. Shown to the right is a three-dimensional object, which is the correct front side view. The correct answer is A. From the front side view, only four surfaces can be seen, as shown. Nonverbal reasoning number 8. Which of the following frames does not belong to the group? The correct answer is D. All of the answer choices, except D, are symmetrical, which means that they can be crossed somewhere by a straight line that will divide them into two mirror images. Such is not possible for answer choice D. Nonverbal reasoning number 9. Create a three-dimensional object out of the two given views below. The correct answer is A. Let's try to figure out the front and right side views of each of the isometric figures in the answer choices. Let's start with answer choice B. The front and right side views of the isometric image in B are as follows. Clearly, it is not the same as our given front and right side views. Let's proceed to check out the isometric figure in answer choice C. It also does not match our given front and right side views. Now let's take a look at the isometric figure in answer choice D. Will its front and right side views match our given front and right side views? Not quite. We already know that the isometric figure in answer choice A is the correct answer. Let's take a look at its front and right side views anyway, if only to confirm that we indeed have the right answer. Indeed the isometric image in A matches the given front and right side views. Nonverbal reasoning number 10. 
Which of the following is the result when the figure is cut by a plane is shown? The correct answer is B. Let's visualize the resulting figure after the original given figure was cut by a plane as shown. This is what we should get. Viewed from the right side, its top view matches the image and answer choice B. You have just completed DOST reviewer number 2, which featured questions on nonverbal reasoning. If you wish to watch more DOST reviewers on nonverbal reasoning, check out our DOST nonverbal reasoning playlist. Check out also our other DOST playlists for other reviewer topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful and feel free to share to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming DOST scholarship qualifying exam.